What's going on, Melon Farmers? DMAC back with another episode of the Darren McDonald Be a Pro series for NHL 22. If you have Dover's go down, hit that like button. In this one, the second place, Minnesota Wild, led somehow by D to the measle. I'm pretty sure I'm actually number one on this team in points somehow, with 70 points in 38 games, are going to be finishing off this regular season. Because of that 34-game injury, we got to the end real, real fast, and that's why we're trying to fast-track the franchise mode. But regardless, let's do this. So here we go, diving into the first game of this video. There's 10 games, including this one, left in the regular season. We're just going to play this one, sim like three, play another one, sim like three or four, and then play the final game of the year. And then we're going to get um, a lot farther in the franchise mode. And then we're going to be heading off to the playoffs for the very final time before NHL 23 comes out. Also got a specialty video or two. Coming out in the meantime, Chikrin picks that up in his own zone, getting it to Dvorak. We're up two to nothing in this one here at Amelie Arena in Tampa, Florida. Nice little stop by Jesper Wallstead. My guy, steady Jesper. And Esteban Hall actually makes, uh, actually gets that puck out of there. DMAC doing a little half piv action that was probably <laughs> ill advised because I just lost the puck. Got it back though. And here we go. Oh, right up the side. And he stayed on side two. Covey McWovey can't get through foot. And foot ends up taking that one back. Okay, that could have been almost a late hit. We got to, like, you know, we'll, we'll relax on that. It's going to be great. That one ends up behind the net, and nobody goes for it. Right out in front, and Jesper Wallstead's got to be sharp to make that save. After the simulation, still 2 nothing. We are getting back on the ice. Look, Covey McWovey Ninja Deking to Oblivion. Gets it back to DMAC. Get that one back to the point. Ethan Bear gets it to DMAC. Oh, right out in front. Look at this. No, oh, it's too damn easy. Oh, my goodness. When all your stats are essentially 99 overall, it's just too damn easy, man. Look at this. It's a little, it's a little puck on a string. Just a little flick. We just put that stick out and just gave it a little flick. Top cheese. Vassy. What are you doing, buddy? You should have had that every day. But D Max is just too damn good. I love it. I don't remember. Ethan Bear gets it over to D Mac. Oh, look at this. Splitting everybody. Uh, no, we got to go around the net. Go around the net. Got to find somebody open. Here we go. Spinnerectomy. Get that one across. To Esteban Hall and a big save by Vaz. You had to be real sharp on that one. 2.55 to go in the second. And we're getting pretty late in this shift, but they haven't taken us off yet. We're still on the ice. Alexander Kovanov looking to take this face-off draw. Tampa has won its last three games. We're hoping to change that tonight, but we are up three to nothing, so I feel pretty good about it. So you know what? We're playing for Steady Jesper. We're going to try and get him a shutout. I don't remember how many he has this year, but we're going to try and get him yet another one. Easy save. You want to go? No, he doesn't want to go. <laughs> I think we're probably off the ice now, and that is most likely going to kill the second period. We just got to hold him off. Oh, man, we got a sim goal. What's up? Oh, baby! <laughs> Darnell Nurse puts her home to make it 4 nothing Minnesota. So, yes, for Wallstead's shutout bid is still intact. So, put 20 minutes back on the clock, as always, as we attempt to blank the Tampa Bay Lightning. Keep them out of the net. That's, that's our whole thing, man. We got four goals. I feel pretty good about this game. I think we're going to win. Look at this. Nice push by Kovey right off that opening face-off, and we are in the zone. Trying to figure out where we want to go here. Round the net. Oh, buddy got stuck on that post. Get back to the point. Sergey McWervy. That was the worst one I've ever come up with in my life. I, I'm embarrassed and ashamed. Sergachev can't get the shot through traffic. And Johnny Druen playing in Tampa. There you go. <laughs> Ethan Bear gets tied up in his own zone, and Josh Hosang just walks right out in front. Jonathan Druin gets it back to the point. That's bouncing off bodies, and Sergachev is gonzo. Here we go, baby. Oop, stop up, because he ain't passing. Uh, he just ain't doing nothing with it. Now you got to get back. <laughs> Braden Point bringing it through the neutral zone for Tampa. He's stopping up. I'm watching this point guy. I ain't leaving this point guy. Wow, how did that happen? <laughs> I just trailed off for like half a second. Back to the point foot. Nice block by DMAC. It ends up up against the boards, and Halsey's got it. I'm just trying to get open. Nice. Get it to Sergey. Get it to DMAC. Oh, turn back now. That was maybe the worst pass I've ever made in my entire life. And again, much like the other thing I just said, I'm pretty ashamed of that. <laughs> Here we go. DMAC, get her to center. Wire it down the ice. That was on net. Wow. And here's Jakob Chikrin. Guess what, buddy? Oh, you're lucky. <laughs> Eric Sinek actually held the zone, and he gets the puck to D to the measle. I'm having a little trouble here. 
Back out in front. Whoop. Back pass to you. All right, come on. Get loose. Get loose. Here we are. Right in front of the net. Way, way wide. Just so, just impossibly wide. But we had the puck in the Tampa zone like that entire time. And we were able to kill off that penalty. So we might be off the ice because we were on the penalty kill. And as soon as that is over, usually they just like kick you off the ice again. So what do we got? Darren, we're in control. Don't let your foot off the pedal, but let's not get too fancy. The last thing we need is for them to get back in this game. I hear you, coach. I'll make sure we play smart and come away with the win. D to the measle. Get that one back around behind your own net. And there's Esteban Hall to Doogie McWoogie. Doogie Hamilton, he got himself, he just, they, they corner themselves, right? They get themselves cornered, they can't do nothing, and if I would have been moving a little faster, that would have been, what? How did I leave that behind? It would have been a little easier to get a hold of here. Esteban Hall loses that one, but Andre Kasha gets it to Joe Valeno, and it bounces right out. Use the speed, use the wheels. Nah, stop up, get in the middle. Nah, I got no room. Got no room, man. That was good defense. Jakob Chikrin gets that one out to Kasha. Kasha down the ice to Burakovsky. In for Tampa, loses it to Kasha, but it hits Doogie on the way. And that one never makes it to the net. We're getting late in our shift here. So we just got to get this puck out of our own zone, and then we can go for a line change. Kasha just walking right in. He's steady, Esper. Beautiful glove save. Going to stop the play. And now we should be down below 10 minutes to go in this game. So here we go. Bringing her into the zone. Oh, big play by Nursey. It's in front of Valeno. Poke checked by Jesper Walsh that just saved a goal a bazillion and a half percent. All right, we're losing it. We don't know where it is. It's bouncing around. Doogie's got it. Here we go. Kovey. Kovey, where are you going with it, baby? I suppose I should probably get kind of in position a little, a little bit better than I am. And Burakovsky's bringing it back again for Tampa. Over to Kasha. Kasha's been all over this puck. Big glove for Steady Esper. Six and a half to go. Just over six and a half to go. My goodness, I'm so excited. The preseason starts in less than two weeks. I'm so jacked that hockey is going to be coming back. That is going to help fill my nights. My goodness. Instead of having to get up and actually just play games on my franchise mode, I'm going to be able to actually just watch games on the T-Vizzle. Can we sneak in? Whoop. Ooh, that one might have hit, might have hit a skate. It was kind of an awkward one. Kovey with a nice shot, but that goes off a leg as well. Esteban Hall. Wow, nice chance. It's up in the air. It bounced over the net, and Vazzy almost put it into his own cage. What do we got, man? Shillington gets that one up to Josh Hosang. Sanger. Gets it across, and it's flopping around in front of the net. Big stop by Jesper Wallstead again, who is hunting for a shutout. And I'm looking to help him get there, baby. It's not like they're going to pull their goaltender, so I can't get another point that way. Here we go. Kovey McWovey gets that one across. Sergachev, nice play. Oops. Oh, no, no. We're just trying to kill some time. Oh, we cut right in front. There it is. There's the hat trick, baby. And I think that ties me with the NHL lead in goals because I was number three. Pretty sure I was three goals back, wasn't I? Something tells me I had like 48, and I just got a hat trick goal. So I should be up to 51 flipping goals in 39 games. Wow. So I tie, did I just tie a Gretzky record? <laughs> did I just seriously get 50 goals in 39 games? Wow, that's unreal. So we're going to have to wait until after this to see what my goal totals this year are now. See which one it was. Impressive snapshot to bury it. Thanks, coach. All right, let's get back to center ice because I'm probably still on the ice for no damn reason whatsoever. Or am I? I don't know. I am, okay. But on the ice for a minute 14. All right, so let's look at the bottom. Five to nothing. That was goal number 51. This is my 39th game of the year. Wow. We just tied a Gretzky record because I got, well, I think technically we beat a Gretzky record. Did he get 51 in that same game? I know he got 50 in the 39th, but did he get 51? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like he didn't. All right, so very late in this game. Very extra super-duper, super-sized. Jesus, that almost killed the shutout. We can't be doing this. All right, you got her. Over to Braden Point. Over to Foot. Drew in. Back to Foot. Back to Chikrin. Back to Hosang. Off his own player's body, and that one does not make it to the net. Sanger, we are having an impossible time trying to get this puck out of our own zone, and there's Braden Point again. Another shot. Nice stop. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's just get it out of our own zone, get it up to Kovey, and we're going to get off the ice for the final 10 seconds. I don't even know if it's going to allow us to simulate. Oh, what a hit on Kovanov. And there's Halsey with a great chance in front of the net. 
Yeah, I think the game's just making us watch it. Sanger with a long bomb, and Bear loses it right in front of his own net, but the game is over. 5 nothing victory. Just broke a Gretzky record, and I'm going to say we broke it. I don't care what anybody says. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, so you want to know what? We enjoyed playing against Tampa Bay so much last time we decided, why don't we just do it again? And look at this, Jacob Chikrin actually wants to fight me now, but we are at the XL Energy Center in Minnesota putting on those gorgeous, some, some gorgeous alternate jerseys. They're not alternates, they're what, the 2016-2017 the, the, the homes or something like that? I don't know. Chikrin gets the first shot on me. Whoop, dodge. Uppercut, dodge. Come on. Come on, throw a punch. Nope, dodge. Boom. Come on, throw another one. Whoop, dodge. Uppercut. Dodge. Whoop, dodge. <laughs> Chikrin. Chikrin. Throw something. There we go. Oh, yeah, he dodged that one. He got me. All right, here we go. Whoop, boom. Yeah, he's almost done. He's almost done. He's almost done. Whoop. Oh, he's done. Boom. And the death blow is dealt. That was, that did not take long. We are taking out the trash because it's garbage day. Sit down, Jacob. Get into uh, concussion protocol. Here we go. Early, early, jumping into this second game. 8.55 to go in the second. That's going to sim us just about down to the end. There's only three minutes and 26 seconds to go in this period. Probably only going to get one shift in the second. Poirier gets that one over to Josh Hosang. Uh, lose this thing, buddy. Damn it, he got it back. All right, Braden Point bringing that one into the zone. Here we go, Kovanov. Whoopsie doozy. Oh, Doogie loses that one. We're back stuck in our own zone. Big hit. We got in front of Josh Hosang again. Gets it back to Johnny Druen and stolen away by Esteban Hall. I was all the way up the ice. Really wished he would have found me, but we got it now. All right, what do we got, man? Just hold on to it. Puck protect a little bit. Get around that net. Get around that net. Throw it. That was a bad pass. That was all my fault. What a horrible pass. Johnny Drew in in the zone. Takes a shot. Nice stop. By Steady Jesper. And now Carson Lambos. I'm getting in my own teammate's way. Playing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we lost it again. In front of Josh Hosang. Get off this thing. Poirier takes a hit as well. Hosang. We finally got it back. And it's Ethan Bear. Ethan Bear. Oh, why? Oh, breaking point. Drew in. Whoa, boy, I just got in front of him enough that I was able to kind of take that one away. So let's get it into the Tampa zone. What are we doing? We're trying to fake out Vicky. Vicky. Where are we going? In the middle. Oh, baby. We got some room. We got some room. Oh, nice stop by Vazzy. All right. And he played it as we're getting off the ice. Braden Point takes it out. Oh, it runs into the skate of DMAC as he's going for a line change. And that is the end of the second period in this one. Well, by the time we got off the ice, there was only 20 seconds left in the second period anyway. Now we really got to start putting some stuff up on the boards to get back in this one. So, put 20 minutes back on the clock as always as we attempt to take down the Tampa Lightning here in Minnesota. They're, they're up 2-0 as we begin the third period. But I feel... I'm always confident in this team, you know, that we can... We can put some, some something in the net, and as soon as you can beat a goalie once, you can beat him again. If you can beat him once, you can beat him twice. And if we beat him twice, that's good. Oh, right up to the middle. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Cuts in. See what I mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 58th goal of the season. Oh, man. DMAC has played like 43 games this year and has 58 goals on the season. Unbelievable year for a guy that lost almost half a season. Absolutely fantastic. And I got to say, those are among my favorite jerseys of all time. I think they're just absolutely fantastic. If you haven't had any sustained pressure, I need you to change that. I can do that, coach. I just swung the damn momentum in our favor, but I'll continue to do it. I'll continue to swing it in our favor. We got a power play, so let's see what we can accomplish with that. Circuit chip. Ooh, those are the tricky ones, the ones that hit something on the way, right? Here we go. DMAC, wine and fire right off a face or something. Got it back, but didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Sergey, can you hold it again? No. But Alex Ayafalo is going to boom. Get a little hit from Esteban Hall. Take it out. Kovanov, that one hits his stick and goes all kind of crazy. There's Hedman. Vicky, get out of town. Now get stuck behind your own goaltender. There you go. Now I don't got to cover you. <laughs> Ayafalo bringing it into the zone. He's stopping up, looking for anyone to go to. Nice stick lift 
by Mikhail Sergachev and D-Max. Got it. Let's go. Come on. Wheels, 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 wheels. Wheels. Cut in the middle. Oh, what a hit. <laughs> I got up quick, though. It's Sergachev taking on Jakob Chikrin, fighting a member of his former team. I mean, Chikrin was never uh, a Tampa Bay Lightning when Mikhail Sergachev was there, but... I mean, he is now, so there you go. Thank you so much, Mikhail Sergachev, for defending my honor. I tried to do a weird little half pivot, ended up getting absolutely massacred on my way in to take that shot. So I don't even know if I'm still going to be on the ice. That might have just drained all the energy I had, and Chikrin has had enough. He puts Sergachev down, knocks him down, knocks him out, and both those guys are sitting for five. Oh, what a hit. Kasha takes a penalty, so we're going to the power play. All right, full two minutes, so they dropped the puck. Somebody got off the ice, and oh, wow, what a pass by Alexander Kovanov. Kovanov gets it to DMAC. So what do we, who do we got here? Somebody get open in front of that net. Oh, man, I would have really liked to have gone to Esteban Hull, but it just didn't work out that way. Oh, bad, bad feed. Bad feed, unable to take it back. I have fallow, and we got it back, kind of. D-Mac, it ended up leaving the zone, but that's okay. Josh Norris gets it. What a feed by Esteban Hall. D-Mac cutting in, doing the stop up. Big shot. Nice stop by Andre Vasilevsky. You want to go now? You want to? He does! Poirier! Oh, man, he got me with the uppercut, though. Dodge him. Whoop. Nope. Dodge him. Throw a shot. Whoop. Got him. Ugh, he got me that time, though. Throws a shot. Dodge. Nice punch. I'm trying to, I'm trying to hook them less. I'm trying to get them with just actual punches no but oh i love those uppercuts right now though man I've, I've been really practicing fighting not hooking them just getting them with the uppercuts and stuff pure punches boom and i i, I don't think i've lost one yet i might have but i think dmax only lost two or three fights his whole career taking out the trash because it's garbage day might as well call me the garbage man so that Poirier guy, that was his first career NHL fight. And it was against a seasoned fighting veteran. <laughs> oh, man. So here we go. Simulating on ahead to a minute 40 left in this game. I figured maybe I can get the boys in into the game, get them going. Maybe they'd tie it up. But they didn't. Oh, my God. I cannot believe Steady Esper just played that. I tried to get it up to Esteban Hall, and it worked. Oh, my goodness. Gets it across to Kovey. What a move, and it's still stuck right at the post. Oh, my goodness. But Tampa's able to get it out of their own zone. Johnny Drew ends doing every deke he's ever seen, and Braden Point gets a rebound shot. Big save by Jesper. Um, oh, my God. How did that just work? Here we go, baby. I tried to get it across, the buddy almost put it into his own net. But now we got an empty net, and nobody knows how to play frickin' defense with a pulled goaltender. Dal out of my way. What do we got? Oh, his stick's tied up for no reason. Yeah, that's a that's a loss. Valeno. Ooh, we took that one away. All right, all right, all right. We got to find somebody up here. Who do we want? Oh, good thing I didn't pass to you because you went for a damn line change as soon as I thought about it. <laughs> Turn him back. Turn him back. No, my goodness, they're all over you. Whoop, just trying to dodge people. Let's get back out in front of this. Nah, it took a hit and it was no good. Burakovsky taking it out of his own zone. Less than 10 seconds to go. And Joe Valeno brings it into the zone. Can't get the shot off. But Jordan Greenway, the jolly green giant, can't do anything with it. Two to one loss to the Tampa Bay Lightning, unfortunately. But we got a great record this year already. All right, so the final regular, uh, regular season game of the year is up against the Calgary Flames, where we got a 4-1 to one lead at the halfway point of this one. So, uh, I think, yeah, if we can win this game, that means Minnesota had a 50-win season, did pretty damn good. We're going to probably finish in the league in the top five. We're going to have a great playoff spot. And there's Chucky still there. All right, Bertram throws that one to Zari. Oh, man, Zari walks in, and Sergachev's got to be sharp on that one. That almost looked like it could have been penalty, but apparently it wasn't. Here we go. D to the measle. Sneaking into the zone. We're just going to, what? I said throw it around the net. <laughs> what do I do with that? Hey, go back around behind the net again. I, buddy didn't get caught up on the net this time. Usually they do, but not that time. And Esteban Hall gets it back out in front. D to the measle. Just trying to get around everyone. Back to the point. Bear, Sergachev, big slapper, big block, gets it back to Kovey. Kovey, 
to Bear. Big shot. Oh, baby, what a deflection. Goal number 64 on the season in the 48th game of the year. Could you imagine if DMAC had played all 82 games at this scoring pace? What is that? 115 goal season? <laughs> that would have been unbelievable. This would have been the record setting season because we're our whole top line is so overpowered. You know, with Halsey as a franchise playmaker, DMAC essentially as a franchise sniper, Covey as just an absolutely brilliant top line center. And he loses it to Kovanov, the Calgary Flames player. So now we're looking to uh, make this even more grosser. -er. So Esteban Hall can't do anything with that one. Bertram, boom, gets a little knocked around by DMAC. I'm going to try and get back in front of this net. Oh, he's getting played with pretty good. Ethan Bear. Brings that one around the net. Hold on to it. And he doesn't hold on to it. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. So we're getting pretty, well, less than five minutes to go in the second period here in the final game of the season. And now we are simulating on ahead to see where we are at. There is a simulation goal, though. Oh, that ends the second period. And it was Adam Gaudet who makes it a 5-2 game. Still in favor of the good guys, though. So put 20 minutes on the clock one last time. Could we potentially get into a fight with Matthew Kachuk? No, but we're getting into a fight with Mayfield. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Here we go, baby. This big defenseman, big defenseman. What is it, Scott Mayfield? Something like that? Oh, we're just blind. We're just look at him. He's throwing blind punches. Somebody grab somebody. All right, here we go. For the punch, nope, boom, dodge ya, nope, dodge ya, uppercut, whip, dodge ya, but oh, he dodged me that time. Let's go, throw something, nope, try again, try again, whip, uppercut, no, ah, man, I didn't mean to, but we got him hooked that time. Quick fight, he fell fast, man. Look at it, it almost looked like I gave him a little tap on the leg, like, good for you, buddy. Garbage day. Garbage day. Uh, could potentially be the final garbage day of the regular season because once the playoffs hit, that's when you got to be a good boy. You got to play smart. Play S smart. So here we go. Simulating on ahead. Two seconds into the third period, all the way down to 11.32 to go. We really fast tracked this one, man. We got through this game pretty darn quickly. So here's Bertram just dumping her from center. We got a three goal lead almost at the 10 minute mark. What is this? Hitting my guy like that? Come on. Kovey, that was a bad pass. Gets it to Adam Gaudet for the Calgary Flames. He's bringing her in. Easy shot, easy stop for Steady Esper. What is this? What are we doing here? Oh, now he wants to be shoving buddies. Okay. Like, cannot believe DMAC has 64 goals this year. That is so gross. And we're hoping for another one right now. Let's go for 65. <laughs> oh. There we go. Get her back to Ethan Bear. Up to Esteban Hall entering the O-Zone. Don't you be hitting Halsey too hard or I'm going to have words with you. Adam Gaudet taking that one down the ice for Calgary. Back into our zone. Easily loses that one. And Covey, Mick, Wovey gets it up to Esteban Hall. Up to D to the Mac and I couldn't turn fast enough. And now Julian Gauthier gets it back to, uh, to Alola again. I think we're going to the penalty box. So let's make it worth it. <laughs> let's make it worth it. Oh wow! I got straight out of the box, and the 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 guy like was I was I was thinking about just getting off the ice, and then the pass just came straight to me. So here we go in the ozone. Over to Ethan Bear, Josh Norris gets it back to D to the measle, back around behind the net. Ah, there's nobody there though. That's a shame. All right, Adam Goddard bringing her down the ice, back into the Minnesota zone yet again. He's cutting into the middle. Nice toe save by Steady Jesper. Oh, tried to get that pass through. And, whoa! Hey, whoa! How was that not a penalty, dude? Jokin, nice play, Sergachev, great defense. We're kind of we're kind of swarming around in front of our own net, and sometimes that ends up not being a great idea. But you know we'll go with it. Kovanov, look at the look at the puck protection skills. And he gets it all the way, and Jilkin then just takes it away. Man, are they ever jumping in front of me in this one? Got it. Lose that thing. Dal Cole gets it up to Gautier. Julian Gautier bringing it in one last time. To Adam Godet. Easy glove save for Steady Jesper. One minute, ten seconds to go in this game. And we are getting off the ice. 
That is going to kill the season, man. We done great. 50 win season. Anyway, uh, this video ran a little longer than I thought it was going to, so we're going to do a stats update to begin the Stanley Cup playoffs. In the next video, we are also going to see who we're going to be playing. So anyway, that is going to do it for me for this one. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. There's new videos coming all the frickin' time. And until next time, you beautiful melon farmers, have a good one.